Hey, good early evening. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity that is Ken's Shaving and BSing home of your original Big Shave Best Champion, as always. And today, new products in, new deliveries. So first off, I got some PAA in. I popped for a CK6 package of Hotel Cecil in the, the holographic, um, holographic labels. That they're really cool. And let's just go off the cuff let's talk let's talk um, hotel cecil the scent so it's based on classic burma shave scent i don't recall ever really smelling burma shave but i will tell you right off my nose i think i like it better than cad if you're going to talk about barber shoppy scents and the notes on this are talc cardamom vanilla tonka bean Cephalus, which I don't know what that is. I didn't look it up. Sandalwood, cedar, nutmeg, black pepper, oak wood, and oak moss. And if you wear frags, well, I mean, you'd like cad too. It smells kind of like uh, East Saint Laurent. Um, oh, same thing as American Barber, roughly. Uh, oh, God, I forgot the name. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, Hotel Cecil is like Barber Shave. I think you'd like this a little more. It's a little more complex. And it's a CK6 formula. I usually get combos with my points coupons, so I did that. And it's always $5 off cheaper as opposed to buying them separate. Anyway, so when you have the coupon, you can get down a little lower. We're going to use the Atomic Rocket 26 millimeter synthetic nut. And we're going to start with our, our cube, of course. I'm not showered, but it is clean. I've been working at home all day. I haven't broken a sweat or anything. Um, been going to the gym, been losing weight. Hey, already down like like eight pounds. All right, it's a good start. It's a good start. We got to keep it going. And the razor today is going to be the Razor Rock Lupo Stainless Steel, the Lupo SS. And I'm going to dive right in and use the 0.95 base plate. I did purchase the 7.2 base plate, and let's get into the detailing. Now, the difference, of course, will. This says Lupo 7.2 on it versus 9.5. Granted, um, it's, you know, the, the dimensions are going to be different. And because someone got on my case before, let's go to Italian Barber. Let's talk specs real quick. So, safety razors. Let's find the dreaded Lupo here. Probably be easier if I. All right, clear. All right, so handle, head, and everything is sixty nine ninety nine. Let's go to the view product here. It is in stock right now. Uh, base plate was like thirty something dollars with that. So what are we dealing with? Um, So this is a dual comb ver oh, they have them a dual comb. Oh, so it's a dual head that does one of each. How interesting. Well, I didn't do on that. All right, so I got a bulldog handle, 13 millimeters, uh, diameter 90 millimeters long, 2.8 ounces weight approximately. Let's see. Oh, no, that's the weight of the razors. This is 2.8 ounces altogether, I believe, from what it looks like. Too many ounces weight. Stainless steel across. I didn't know they did a dual comb. Well, I feel kind of crappy, but you know what? That saves my blade if I want to. But again, if you want to go aggressive and turn it, that's pretty savvy. I kind of like that. Huh. I have to consider getting that in the future if it ever comes back available. So, tell you what. Let's get the face prepped. Let's get it shaved. So, the water is warmed up. I got warm water in my mixing bowl. Excuse me while I'm out of shot. <laughs> Cleaned my bathroom last night. So I'm trying not to make too big a mess in and around the sink. We're going to use my favorite blade, the Gillette Stainless. 
I don't even know if you can get it or if it's been rebranded as something else. But I have enough to last me a good friggin' while. I can save them for a long time and use up all my other blades and I'll be a dead man probably by the time I get to it. So let's let's get the right blade in the, just to give you an idea. It looks like this in the packaging. Got it, got it, all right. Wax cover, glue buds, the standard Gillette out of Russia setup. Oh, sorry. Um, wide bar, base plate mounts. I mean, uh, top cap mounts, drop your blade in. C95. Here is the inside of your of your base plate, and your bottom looks like the 7.2. Just fits a lot like some of the uh, Phoenix razors, actually. I was going to use a Phoenix razor for the shave, but this arrived today, so <laughs> let's just get into it. All right, so let's get our cube on. I counted all my cubes. I got two tubes and like. See, chocolate, two hollies, a red, ice cube, mentholated black cube, and the, uh, what is now the son of clown fruit in the smaller packaging cube, but it, it's a will of the wisdom time. And kids, it does go in the dark. I may just set it out as a, as a matter of course, I'm, I'm on a next, on my other, one of my other docks. I have three docks, by the way, a clear one and two black ones. So I may say on a, just for the, the coolness of having it glow, even keeping it in the wrapper, just because. All right, we're gonna leave that on. We're just gonna thin it out a little, or soap it up a little. So add a little more slickness and... Yeah, we're gonna leave that on. I love the cube, I really do. Um, it's converted me away from oils. I used oils for a long time, uh, artist shaving. Huh, didn't even notice that. Check that out. What does it say? So, from, from shadowy shapes, guests throw themselves to get, to get away from shadowy shapes, guests throw themselves from our fire escapes. Hotel Cecil, enjoy your stay. <laughs> That's clever. Good job, Douglas. Always a little extra. All right, let's dip the brush in, shake it out. Question came up, for those who don't know, on Facebook, there is a Phoenix uh, shaving kind of a admiration group. 200-something um, members so far, I'm a part of it. And question came up, is CK6 really worth it over CK1? Well, honestly, let's be blunt. No, but, I mean, good shape, so it's, they're both good formats, they're great. I just pop for the 6 because I use my coupons, and yeah, I can get CK1 cheaper. But I have a lot of CK1, and as, <laughs> yeah, when I had trit soaps out, like, I haven't even used up one soap yet of anybody's. I still have my original mutter, Mutterfucker I ordered from the Grooming Lounge in 2015 that I haven't used up yet. My God, six years I've had a soap. I mean, I've had a few soaps six years. Almost six years. Okay, yeah, I'm getting some of the spicy notes in here. As it thins out, it gets a little tea-like if you smell certain spicier teas, uh, Earl Grayish, but not, but with more to it, obviously. This is nice. Yeah, this will be, if you're a real fraghead, Reed Gauche, YSL Reed Gauche. Somebody said, idiot, Reed Gauche. Okay, I caught it, if you stayed in this video long enough. But this... This is nice. Oh, I really dig this. Oh, see, I bought this kind of blind. I've been lately, in the last couple, here and there with Phoenix, I've ordered sample sizes of of the aftershaves. 99 cents, you know, it's worth it. But Hotel Cecil wasn't available. So I went ahead and popped for it, hearing the rave reviews it's getting. And I said, Burma Shave, what could go wrong with a classic shave scent, you know, that was on roads, all, highways, all over, the, all over the, for decades, all over the country, right? All right. Let's just dive in with the 9.5, kids, and see how it goes. Oh. 
Okay. First partial pass here so far. As aggressive as it is, it's very comfortable. I got a blemish down here, so it's probably going to be a, might be a weeper situation coming. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Of course, the bulldog handle is really great. I've had previous bulldog handles in the the Zamac, you know, and uh, you know there weren't there was limited handles. I didn't want to get another bamboo because I have a bamboo that I use in my game changer. This is nice with this blade pairing so far. It feels super comfortable. Uh, I'd say it's right up there feeling, well, I, I sort of rearranged my razors. I put all, well, I got, I'm going to have pretty much either my Phoenix or stainless steels or my classic Gillette's all up on this rack here. So, and I'm going to be liquidating some stuff. This is really comfortable. Since my hair wasn't really hydrated, prepped your feel you a little more scraped than normal. The shallow head is nice. To borrow from CDB, at the blade feel is definitely more prominent. So if you like blade feel, no, it's still, I mean, it's still safe. It's not crazy aggressive. Believe me, I, I do have an R41 head, and it's the, not the, the, the one I call the Widowmaker. Or, 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 I call it the Widowmaker, but it's not the 2011. It's what's considered the 2013 and newer head. But, but yeah, this is, I don't, this is, I'm, I'm call it, I can't call it aggressive. That's not the right word. And I'll be blunt with you, as much as we've all spent on this, you know, the ones that are really into the hobby, and I'm not as, I'm not say bad as some. Because that's not really the right word. But I have plenty of plenty of stuff. <clears throat> yeah, did I say there was cinnamon in this? I'm gonna go back and double check that. Let's see. Phoenix Shaving Hotel Cecil. Cardamom. Sandalwood, black pepper, the nutmeg. That's what's coming up. The nutmeg, as I drop my brush, that's okay. Ah, the nutmeg is what you get. I'm getting a lot of it. And I like nutmeg. I like it. I like it in my eggnog when I have eggnog, you know. It's got a little spice. It's pleasant. It's, um, you know, cardamom. Cardamom has that nice, I think cardamom and eggnog is a lot of what I'm getting. All right, let's go. I'm gonna do try to do a traditional three pass this time.
Watch the pressure on my neck. Do our chin, then our muscle. All right. Now I know the idea behind these razors was kind of like to bring the wolf man to the people, let's say. For the record, I can't speak to that because I've never tried a wolf man except a gorilla. And I wasn't as experienced, so it wasn't quite the best shape for me. I mean, just because I really couldn't use it. That was my fault, not the razors. All right. And the proof will be in the third pass, my friends, because that's where, you know, usually I do, I do mostly it with and against and clean up, but. Now, also, for the record, the Gillette Stainless is not the sharpest blade out there. It is my straight baseline blade. I absolutely love it. I can put it in mid to aggressive razors, and I have no fear of what, it will, what I'm expecting. Asco Reds are the same way. Just go in blind with them. Feels good. And I'm tagging a couple blemishes, so I'll have a have a weep or two. I got a little a couple rises on my face, but eh, so be it. Alum and Styptic are your friends, right? Well, mid-shave, I don't know what to make of it. I don't think it's any better or worse than anything else. This is about three days growth. Maybe my taste in blades has changed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel better. But I'm still having kind of the same normal...
All right. All right, let's rinse and feel around. Still in my spot there. This area is pretty good. It's normally a spot. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little. All right. Chin's good. Rinse the brush out. Soap's great. I love the scent. I don't think one can go wrong with the with the scent. It's classic. It's pretty vibrant. It's a, a great. It's a great feel. Let's uh. Let's do alum. Let's see how our face feels with this. So get our chip ready here. Eh, feedback is okay. Not not horrific or anything out, you know. There's some, but it's not. It's more down here where I did a little extra work. Let that sit for a bit. Okay, well, you know, let's talk while we're we're drying here and letting the alum set. Is this an aggressive razor? Mmm. There's more out there that's more aggressive, sure. But overall, I'd put it high mid aggressive. You know, it, it's borderline aggressive. It's not R41 aggressive. Maybe a Plate 6 Rockwell could be in that range. Uh, I'm trying to figure what else. Dialing up, uh, dialing up the, uh, the Rex Ambassador, somewhere in that range. I mean, the dart from Blackland, stainless razor, I think is on par, probably a little better if you nail it. But you gotta really nail it. This one's ease of use is a lot easier. Uh, I don't know. It's it's good quality. It's built well. The mach the finish is great. Uh, the machining on it, the for for seventy bucks out the door, you know. You know, you know, depending on you know your shipping, uh, usually this should probably be, I think this is free shipping already because it's already over the threshold for shipping. Um, this is a great razor. Um, I mean, can't go wrong. Let's do a maybe we'll do the seven two um, Wednesday, and we'll see the same blade, see what we feel about that. But good razor, uh, hyper aggressive, no. Um, for 70 bucks, stainless steel? Yeah, good deal. Maybe a sharper blade. Maybe out of the shower would give me a little better thing. But overall, face feels good. I think I didn't grow. That's a common one. All right, so you know, let's get into the aftershave. I don't want to shake it, but. Caught that drip before it went too far. All right. With the alcohol set. Yeah, this is classic stuff. Yeah. Man. I dare say the, the opening, once it hits your face, you're going to get just a hint of Old Spice. That's going to make you think twice, because it did me. But then it settles, a little more powdery. Great face feel. Denatured alcohol. 
Tonka bean hydrosol. So he's putting real Tonka bean hydrosol in there. Essential and fragrance oils. Bedelium tree resin. That must be somewhere where the face feels coming in. See glycerin. Red, red, red rubios extract, aloe vera, and sal tree extract. So there's some skin food in here. And this, wow, okay. Face feels great with this aftershave. Yeah, you're going to like this one. If you haven't heard it enough from other folks in the community, Hotel Cecil's a winner. If you want, you want classic old school, you want to go back a ways, you want a, a shave scent and not something fruity, ridiculous, out of this world, crazy. Um, this is a winner. I highly recommend picking it up. The razor, I'd recommend it if you don't have something. If you want a, what I consider a cost-friendly stainless steel razor, that um, the combo plate might be your best deal. But um, you, you want something on the aggressive side for 70 bucks. I don't know what else you can do. Or, or maybe if you already have plenty of handles, see if you can get the head and the base plate. Uh, base plate goes with each. No problem. I did a fit test. Just just different diameter. In the, uh, I mean, the top cap goes with the base plates. Regardless of one, you only need one. It's like with the uh, Game Changer. I have the Game Changer in the 6.8 and the 8.4. Same thing. So yeah, these are the solid razor. Great soap. Brush is always solid. Cube always works. So with that, I'm going to stop my video here. A little longer today, but thank you for hanging around. As always, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Cheers. Too sweet to good brothers and good sisters out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Maybe it'll be a few pounds lighter.